Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you've been with us before, welcome to the channel if this is your first time discovering us. Welcome, and we hope you made it through those dark forests unscathed. This is Lee Allen Presents. I am your host for this particular video. I'm Alan. This is our own personal little Balrog here. You might just be able to see the top of his fur there. Um, just on the table lane there. He's my assistant for today, apparently. And as you've already seen from the title card around about 30 seconds ago, we are unboxing Moria through the doors of Durin today. So this is a tabletop RPG. It's an expansion for the One Ring, uh, produced by Free League Publishing. Uh, this was a Kickstarter that was uh, that ran from August 30th, 2023 to September 14th, 2023. So it ran from 15 days, give or take. They needed a funding goal of 250,000 Swedish kroner, which equates to roughly 18.1,000 pounds-ish. And they actually gained 13,398,937 Swedish kroner, which sort of roughly estimates to about 970,000 pounds, give or take, um, with a total of some 13,009 uh, 13, backers in total. This particular box here is going to be the Deluxe Bundle, but I did also tack on, uh, I forget the name of the book off the top of my head right now, but there is a, an extra book in there. So there's there's the Balrog, just 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 getting right right there. Thanks, thanks, pal. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to uh, watch Braggs doesn't hit the camera for a start. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, hi 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 out there in uh, in Fantasyland. Hi, folks. Hi. So I'm going to open this box now. Hopefully, Rags will will allow me to show you the content. So. Safety first, knife. Be careful if you're using knives, kids. There we go. It's uh, it's a little bit warm uh, today uh, in the UK as I'm unboxing this. So I think Rags is kind of uh, exhausted from the heat, shall we say? He seems to be having a bit of a weird day today. So let's get rid of... Oh, staticky. Way too staticky. Cool, I'm just going to put that down there because that's got personal information on it. And I'm going to have to flip this upside out, I think, to be able to pop everything out. Oh, 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 oh can you see the French on the back of this? Cool. So, uh, this might get a bit loud while I'm opening this. I think I startled Rags with that. It's okay, Rags. It's just some poly, uh, some, not poly pocket. It's uh, bubble wrap. It's bubble wrap. Oh, there you go. It's shifted the camera. Nice. Thanks, pal. Is that stuck to something? Is that a corner? What's going on? I can't get this thing out. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. I can't bag today, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait. Cool. Okay, so. The first thing we've got is the Tales from the Lone Lands. So this was an expansion that was released post um, the One Ring and this was part of that pledge as well, Ruins from the Lost Realm. This was another book that they put out separately, which I hadn't had a chance to pick up. But then when I saw it was included with the Moria one, I figured I might as well save up myself some money on some postage. So if you open this book here, we've got a rather nice map of Eriador, as to be expected um, from, the, from the, the previous unboxing. If you haven't seen the previous unboxing, actually, I'll throw a link up here for you. Because um, I did unbox the, the, the previous contents of this. Um, this this is really nice artwork that they always put through these books. Um, the page quality is really good. It's a really thick. Um, it's it's almost card adjacent. It's very thick, very sturdy pages. So this is extra things you can put into your game. So it's got different scenarios. So about the Prancing Pony, the Journey to the Troll Vale, etc. Um, got some really nice artwork there, fighting in the lake. Um, so I'm not going to I'm not going to sort of go through every single page. I'm just going to sort of give a flick through to give you sort of an impression of how this looks. Again, some really beautiful artwork there. Um, some new locations. You've got a villain. I'm assuming that's a villain um, stats and whatnot, and how to, how to to sort of put that into the game. You got some coloured painted artwork as well, which is really nice. Some maps. The hunt for Dior. So it's this really nice book. It's um, not as big as I was expecting. This is only around 111 pages, 112 pages. Um, that's a nice, that's a nice straight worm rather. That's nice. Um, and in the back then we have the sort of more um, how dangerous is the, the different parts of the, the, world, the world map. Um, 
on there in the hex pattern. So there's that one. We'll put that to a side a minute. So we opted for the one ring system, not the 5e system. As such, I was given a choice to uh, have the print from the core book, which is going to retail, or the one from the 5 e book. So I've gone for the one from the 5 e book. Rags is apparently upset with that choice. I'm not sure if that would have come through. So that kind of shows an interpretation of the Balrog in Moria, assuming of the steps of Khazad Doom, uh, which is rather nice. Um, it's sometimes less is more, and that is just really well done. And then I was entitled to this free print as well. So again, another interpretation of the Balrog, and he seems to be sitting upon a throne. Uh, there must be some sort of evil wizard or shaman or, or necromancer there, I'm assuming. Um, hopefully we'll find out a bit more from that through the book itself. So that's that's really nice. And again, the good sort of quality, good card stock. I'm hoping that's not going to glare too much on the camera because it is quite shiny. Um, so I have to find somewhere safe to put those until we can figure a way to put them on the wall somewhere because they'd be really nice on the wall. Another bit that always gets me twitchy. I don't want to damage the book. So I need to find this a way to get into this without slicing paper. And I know I shouldn't be cutting towards myself, but... I'm being careful. And it's a trait I learned from my mother, because my mother always cuts towards herself, even with the sharpest of knives, uh, which, which always made my, my father kind of cringe. <laughs> Check that down there. So this is the, the book itself. It kind of fits rather nicely with the core One Ring book. Obviously, it's got black. It's got the Doors of Deer in there with the inscription with the, uh, the, the Alvin magic. Obviously, you have to speak friend and enter. It's all embossed in silver on this really nice black leather finish. Uh, on the back, you've got some text there. It says, the world is grey, the mountains old, the, fire, the forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. So there's cracking open that book for the first time. We've got a map of Moria. Obviously, it's all underground, so it's not so much topological, but all sort of tunnels and, and caverns and whatnot, which is really nice. The West Moria, the stairs, the upper mines, the road, uh, old Moria. So this looks like they've gone into a lot of detail there. And then you can see the sort of side cut out on this side as well. So you can kind of see how low it goes down as well, which is really sweet. Um, it's really nice interpretation that. So I'm just gonna, again, I'm just going to, oh, hello. Put that up there a sec. I forgot that was in there. <laughs> It's, it's, even though it was only in August last year, this is shipped really quickly. It is now July, so it's less than a year from sort of launching on Kickstarter to actual um, fulfillment, which is really nice. Some some go for years, which uh, if you watch some of our board game stuff, you'll know with Adapt Tabletop. It took us a few years to get that one. It's nice to get this within a year, and the fact that they haven't scrimped on the quality is really good. So again, I'm just going to give a quick flick through. I'm not going to, this is no just sort of talking about the book and what it entails. This is just an unboxing. It shows you kind of glimpses of the book in case you sort of want to pick it up for yourself or sort of see if anyone's selling it, a pledge somewhere. Maybe they can't um, keep it or or they just bought one to sell. Maybe you'll be able to pick it up yourself. Um, so we're getting to the fell foes. So they're your orcs, orcs of Udun. Orcs of Mordor, so all different kinds of orcs will be play, uh, patrolling the realms. The Balrog of Moria. Oh, nice. So it tells you then what, what's the connection between the Balrog and Sauron. What does the Balrog desire? So it kind of allows you to flesh out um, the character a bit more, even though it, it's, it's not on the screen for long. It is a very prevalent character in Moria. And obviously Gandalf, if you've seen the film, knew about it. Or even read the books, knew about it. And he was afraid to go into the depths because of what was there. And this kind of helps to f sort of flesh that out. Ash wraiths, marrow eaters, cave bats, stone toads, tappers. There's, there's so many cool things that I can see just putting into games here. And I am hoping to start running some games soon with this and hopefully recording it for the channel. So fingers crossed, the plans will pan out. Fingers crossed. So you've got a little sort of cross section there of the East Gate of Moria. And it's obviously more than one artist, but the, the art style kind of still works across like this one's a bit more inky and a bit darker. This one's a bit more brown. I see we've done a lot more sort of detailed in that sense, but it kind of all adds to that emotion that it, it's just by, done by different sort of um, uh, artisans or archivists almost. So you can almost imagine this is 
taken from some scrolls that you find in Moria, and you can see it almost like a map or, or, or architectural diagrams, you know, which is really cool. So again, I'm just going to flick through this quickly then. So again, you've got a lot of nice artwork, another sort of map, the vault. That's a giant insect of some sort. Some orcs, the red gate. I'm wondering if the Watcher in the Water is in this, actually. <clears throat> I think this takes place prior to the War of the Ring. I'm not 100% certain. I can't remember fully. So I haven't had a chance to run any games yet, so I haven't fully read the books yet. Um, and I'm very keen to get into it. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is prior to that. So the Watcher in the Water would still be alive, and the Doors of Durin are obviously still intact at this point, um, if that is the case. So that's, that's the book itself. And again, that's, that's really nice texture that I love the the sort of I, I think it's probably fake leather but it just feels so real and it feels really nice and we got the spine as well if I grab this other book down spines will oh, that looks really nice next to each other the red and the black really complement each other it's really cool pop him back for that without it falling hopefully <laughs> and then inside the book there was this map here which I'm going to unfold, hopefully for the first time, without any issues. So this is a much bigger version of the one that you've just seen from the inner page uh, of the book itself. So it, it's just a lot easier to see. I'm going to sort of get really close to squint and to kind of see it. Um, even though my glasses on, I can see everything on this map, which is nice. On the other side, what's this? Okay. Is this some sort of standard? This looks like, to me, this is the top of a hill somewhere. And it kind of gives you the ranges that everything is going to go to. So you're forward, you're open, you're defensive, you're rearward. Oh, that's cool. So it's almost, this almost serves like a map of its own right. The problem is, obviously, it's got all the text on there. So you couldn't necessarily use this as a map, per se, uh, to play a game on, like pop some miniatures on the river. But I guess you could replicate it. Um, scan it, take photographs or, or, or something to that effect. But that's really cool. I didn't. There was nothing like that in the first book that I can remember. So that's quite sweet. It's a bit more uh, adding to that um, sort of fun aspects to it, which is kind of, kind of cool. And then, and this is probably going to be rehashing a little bit again, but I did spring for the, um, much like the first two campaigns, they did a cloth map as well. And this is going to be a big one. Look at that. So again, it's the same map, but in cloth, which is really nice. And I can't, there's nothing on the back end of it. It's just white on the back end. So I'm going to flip this around. Oh, it's just even bigger again. Look at that. That is really nice. That is really, it's, it's, it's not real, but it feels like a suede material. It's really thick. It's got stitching all the way around to stop it from fraying. And it just feels like fantastic quality. Um, no dice. Was there meant to be dice? I might need to look into that. Because um, I'm pretty sure I saw someone posting a picture on one of the groups that I'm in that had dice, but that might have been a separate add-on, but I don't remember. That is entirely possible. We already got dice from the original Kickstarter, so that's fine if it's not, but it just popped in my head that there was no dice. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, nothing in the box. So yeah, I'll double check on the Kickstarter, but there probably was no dice with it. Um, yeah, so that that's... that's Effectively everything that's in the Moria box, plus the uh, Tales of the Lone Lands. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's rather sweet and short, and sometimes less is more, as I was saying about the artwork earlier. And the bag just got sucked up into the map. Great, I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Um, yeah, so did you pick this up? Did you pick up the One Ring itself? Are you an old school player? This is the second edition of the One Ring. Did you play the first edition? Let us know in the comments below or on our social media platforms. You'll find those in our link to in the description down below. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on X. Hit us up, let us know what sort of uh, experiences you've had. Were you first edition and second edition? Are you only now just jumping on Memorial and you're still waiting for your box to arrive? Let us know what you think. And as always, stick with us. We've got plenty of other good content coming up. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well so we know that you're liking the content and that subscribe button and the notification bell. And once you have subscribed, you get notifications sent directly to you. Hey, Lee Allen Presents has uploaded a new video, whether it's board game or video game or wrestling or whatever, or unboxings of some sort. Join us on our adventure as we do plow on through and try to avoid the shadow and the flame in Moria. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.